Come on then boys, no wet paws. <laughs> These live jackets are so good. Good boy. <laughs> So Sarah's gone and done it again. She's done herself proud. She's good egg that one. She's good at finding these beautiful locations. I mean, check this out. Another beautiful lakeside location. A little picnic bench just for us. And then look at this view. Across that way, you just got a view to the Pyrenees. And it's so peaceful, so quiet. Not a bad first spot for our first night in France. Hey Jelly. Yes, very, very, very happy. The benefit of having a small camper van, which isn't stealth in any way, the fact that you've got windows all around because it just seems so open. I'm just sat back here, recline the chair, having a little moment with me. Me little black dog, Dizzy, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. I'm just enjoying that. And you just feel like you're almost sat on the lake when every window. It's good for Charlie as well because he likes to keep an eye out for ducks. So yeah, it's perfect. Bonsoir. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely lake. Lovely sunset. <laughs> <laughs> lovely lake, lovely sunset, lovely mountain view. Goodbye, Spain. Hello, Frenchies! Hi, Jelly. Where are the birdies? What a fantastic first stop in France. Good morning. No, not good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Yes, it's lunchtime and we've had a really relaxed, lovely morning in this absolutely wonderful location. We were going to get up and drive first thing, but I mean, how could we? Take a look around. There's nobody else here except for us. And I mean, it's just such a nice day. And you can probably see those mountains of the Pyrenees better today than last night. I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? Boys are loving it. Charlie's been entertained by ducks and other bird life on the lake all morning. And Dizzy is now on the hunt for whatever Dizzy hunts for, anything small. And there's been a couple of fishermen and that's it. Just going off in their boats and then they've left. Looks like there's a couple of full timers over there. But apart from that, we've got it all to ourselves. Oh, it's so hard just to drive quickly and through countries, as soon as you stop off and find a little place to yourself, it's so hard to leave. We will get quicker at traveling though. What's cooking? Celery. No. <laughs> so we're gonna have some pasta and then we're gonna hit the road 
I think we should really get back on the road, even though it's so hard to leave, isn't it? And you can see in the corner over there, the little dog just rolling around, having the time of his life. Uh, Charlie loves this place because there's ducks and other birds and wildlife and he just sat there last night after it got dark just staring, staring. out, staring into darkness because you can hear all these birds and things. I mean he's just having an absolute time of his life. It's really nice for the boys because this, all this lawn area, it's, it's just perfect for them, isn't it? So nice, yeah. Oh, it's just lovely. <laughs> go on Charlie, go! Watch that solar panel. Hey, how you going? Oh yeah, we could just film the dogs all day long. Maybe we should start a second YouTube channel just for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> just the dogs playing, that's it. But this is a very strange creature. We sometimes wonder if he is actually a dog. Cause like he snorts like a pig quite often. He acts like a cat, the way he kind of like, you know, sits on the back in the sun and things. So I'm not sure, it might be like half piglet, half cat. Listen. Yes. Come on. Calm down now. Calm down. If that was mud and he was bold, and somebody heard him snorting, could be mistaken. <laughs> That's enough. See, it's kind of like a, it's like an inward sneeze things thing. He's had it since he was a puppy, and we were worried about it at first. It was like, we thought, oh gosh, is he stopping from breathing? But I mean, I've sort of researched a bit, and yeah, it's like an inward sneeze. So he gets it every now and again, and he's he's just. I don't know, like he, he's obviously enjoying himself now and he's doing it now, but it's funny. I think that's enough now, little one. He's found a little spot on the grass there, which he's just infatuated with now. Something smelly. Probably just some special little bit of bird food. Oh, look, Charlie's getting into it now and then you can see Charlie over there. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Charlie, come on. Come on, this come way. On. If we do manage to leave today, the plan is to drive past Toulouse and just sort of carry on. I mean, we're kind of heading towards Geneva. So we're kind of heading towards Switzerland. That's the kind of the final destination in France. We haven't researched much of France. So we're not sure where we're going to stop, but we're going to stop at a few places along the way. Yeah, because the plan would be to see more of France when we have more time on our way back down to Spain. Mm kind of you know in five months time or four or five months time or whatever so it's best for us to get through quite quickly and then head towards Germany and Poland sort of thing so we know yeah. how much time we'll have left when we come back if that makes sense it makes sense to <laughs> us anyway so we're just sort of cutting across but anyway let's have a bit of lunch and get back on the road so you can probably tell by the fact that I'm wearing a life jacket that we are not on the road heading towards Toulouse <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, we are in the lake. In the middle of the lake, we decided we've got a kayak in the van and a sup board, so we can't just keep missing out on opportunities. Not that we've had many yet, but you know, we are supposed to be getting north as quickly as possible, but you can't, you can't pass this by. And the boys love it as well. Yeah. Dizzy was itching to get in the boat. Yeah, as soon as Nick started pumping up the... I'm getting a wet bum here, we've got a leak. There's a hole, we've not plugged a hole in. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as Nick got the kayak out and started to pump it up, you can tell that Dizzy gets... he just gets excited and he was the first one to kind of try and jump in the boat. Come on then! And we... <laughs> <laughs> These life jackets are so good! now 
now on this come over to this island. Well, I don't think it's an island. Is he? I think it's just the other side of the lake. I will say it's an island, makes it sound more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's very nice, it's very relaxing and... Um, Water's actually warm, isn't it? The water is really warm, it's not cold at all. So I'm just sitting back and have, enjoying my little boat ride while Nicholas paddles us along. <laughs> And by the way, Nick has got his life jacket on board. Sarah's wearing her life jacket for obvious reasons. The fact that she's a rubbish swimmer. No, <laughs> the fact that she's broken her rib. Uh, mine's in the back here. There. Sorry, we believe you. All right, but don't worry. If I should get into any trouble, this one here is on guard. And here's a trained lifesaver. Look at him alert, watching out, waiting for anyone to get into any trouble. He'll be straight in. That right is. <laughs> Dizzy is so comfortable right here. Not sure if it's that comfortable for mummy, but hey, as long as he's happy, that's the main thing. <laughs> yes, so Nick and I were just thinking, do you know what's really funny is we have no idea where we actually are. I mean, we know that we're in a lake, now <laughs> i mean like the location of this lake we just don't have a clue do we in france that's all we know an hour into france. and we can see the pyrenees but i'm just looking the this is actually a reservoir and it's astarac d reservoir d astarac it's a tiny place called m bats but the biggest town that we're near is bayon hmm not sure I think we're about an hour south of Toulouse. Would you say, love? It's just a little random lake. It's surrounded by French countryside, like hidden away. It's more of a fishing lake, but the color of the water and the temperature of the water is amazing. We are actually southwest of Toulouse in this little random reservoir. <laughs> anyway, there's a little dog licking my knee over and over, bless him. And now we've been out for about 45 minutes, so I think we're going to head back to the van because we really do need to make some progress north. But what a lovely way to spend an hour of our afternoon on this beautiful little lake. Reservoir. Reservoir. <laughs> somewhere in France. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.